Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel after Christmas countdown as the Christmas season continues to January 6th and the products here are just as great as the ones that were reviewed during the actual countdown to Christmas. This is a very interesting new product from Brisk. It's brand new and I found it at Walmart. And there's more to it than it appears at first. This is the Brisk Watermelon Fruiteria Juice Drink. You can see it's a wonderful watermelon color. But it appears at first that, well, this is another sort of a watermelon soda. But it's actually, first of all, more healthy than soda because it has real juice in it and less sugar. But the more you examine it, uh, where they're going with the branding, it's either supposed to be something of a hipster, woke product or... On the other end, somebody might say cultural appropriation by the boardroom because we have here a, we got all kinds of names, Lipton, Unilever, but on the other hand, the, for example, if you look at the artwork on here, Brisk logo, overall, it kind of reminds me of some sort of like a fruit ninja artwork or something else. and then you can see that compared to a soda this is much healthier the whole bottle you get 28 grams of sugar and you've got actual watermelon juice concentrate but unfortunately it's behind high fructose corn syrup it's kind of unique for a soda or juice drink and then you turn it sideways and you see it has an artist name listed in an autograph Mariano Aurel. He is actually uh, someone born in Argentina but lives in Mexico and that's what they're going for with this drink I believe is that in Mexico they have fruterias or even in certain parts of Southwest America now, uh, California for example, it could be anything from a roadside stand or street cart to a full-blown hipster juice bar and in a place like that you would get bowls of fresh fruit, Bionicos, Helados, and also Agua Frescas and they do have watermelon agua frescas and that's what I think they're going for with this drink. So let's go ahead and open this. And it smells fruity but not necessarily watermelon. They really play up that there's real watermelon juice in here. Let's pour some in. You can see it is a very nice color. Now the fruit aroma is even stronger in the cup, but it's not watermelon now. In a watermelon agua fresca, you might have some lime juice and sugar and here it does mention other natural flavors on the label so if that's a mixture of watermelon and lime that's the only way this aroma would make any sense let's go ahead and see how it tastes Well, first of all, there's no carbonation at all, so it is a more of a juice drink. 
and I think it is some sort of a combination like I said because you can taste watermelon but it is adulterated watermelon flavor I guess that could be lime Futuro es en Caracas conmigo. Que me dices, baby? Tired of striking out south of the border? It's time you order the Mama Cita pickup artist. Call in the next 10 minutes and I'll include a free bottle of Spirit by Antonio Banderas. I like to spritz it on before I go to the nightclubs. Give me the strength and the courage to wear the mask a little bit longer. Allow Zolo one last ride. Allow Zolo one last ride. Order in the next five minutes and I'll throw in the bonus brochure, my top. 10 pickup tricks, including the all time classic white lab coat. Soy medico. Un beso, por favor. Now I can use Bob's knowledge of fruterias to pick up Mama Cita's at the local juice bar. That hits the spot, Muñeca. Hits the spot. One other ingredient you find in an agua fresca is water, and that is actually the number one ingredient on this drink. So there's a number of things that are watering down the watermelon flavor, so to speak. You've obviously got water in this along with the fruit juice. You've got other fruit flavors, and I'm betting it's probably lime that's in there. It gives a combination flavor and so I think what's interesting with this is not only the uh, the fact that there's much more here than initially you get from looking at it on the shelf what they're trying to go for with this it's actually kind of impressive I have to say uh, trying to bring a Mexican type drink and, and having the special artwork on there but at the same time I think this could hurt them if they don't publicize it well because they've actually got a very interesting product here trying to do something different but if they don't publicize it enough I think people are going to say oh a watermelon drink or think it's a watermelon soda and they're going to be kind of disappointed because this is not as good in terms of, you know, I love watermelon and watermelon juice right out of the watermelon is very sweet and refreshing. And then there are some sodas on the market and drinks where they actually have a strong, real watermelon flavor. And that's not what you're getting with this. You're getting a sort of like an agua fresca. Uh, at the risk of Carlos Vives exploding out of the wall behind me like the uh, Kool-Aid man going into a rendition of Fruta Fresca but you know a Agua Fresca is going to be a combination drink and it's not just going to be strictly a watermelon flavor so from that standpoint if you take the product on its own terms I found it to be a very refreshing drink. It's very smooth and uh, it has a mild flavor but it seems like it would be very good on a hot day. So we're not anywhere near a hot day here right now. But So from that standpoint I would go ahead and give this four stars for the drink and the concept if you're looking for a pure watermelon soda or juice drink though you're going to be disappointed and you're probably going to have to pass on this but I think it's worth giving it a try otherwise and I'd like to try if they have other flavors in this line.
So I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time tomorrow on this After Christmas Countdown. Bye everybody.